Hello, I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician, and welcome to another one of our video shorts on current topics here at electrical-online.com. Today we're going to show you the installation of a simple plastic keyless lamp holder, ceiling lamp holder. Just a standard fixture, cost you maybe two bucks from a home improvement store. We've got the wires sticking out of the outlet box here. We've shut off the power, so just to make sure we'll test for power and then show you how to install one of these. So we've shut the breaker off, but just to make sure, as I mentioned, we're going to use my Fluke T5-1000 multimeter. And just check here, one lead on the neutral, one on the hot, I've got zero volts. And then to double check, we go hot to ground, just in case we have an open neutral somewhere. And again, zero volts, double checking, we're good to go. So I'll tuck the ground wire up and out of the way, because we do not have a ground connection on a keyless plastic lamp holder. So you don't need to connect it anywhere. It's a plastic box and there's no ground connection in the plastic box. Strip these wires just a little more. And then using the holes in my T-stripper, we'll curl the copper conductor into a 180 degree loop. Nice tight loop. Same with the hot conductor. Nice tight loop. You can see that. So I've got my wires stripped, the loops bent. Remember always, like receptacles, switches, or these types of fixtures, wrap the wire clockwise around the screw. And tighten the screw firmly. And that way when you tighten around the wire, it tends to pull the wire around the screw instead of push it out. So there's our neutral. Neutral on the silver screws. Black on the brass. These are outfitted with four screws, so you could actually have uh, a daisy chain of lights on this circuit with uh, power in and power out using the terminals as a through connection. Not the best way to do it, but it can be done. Snugly tighten down the black. The white is tightened down on the silver. And you also want to Tighten up your unused terminals as well, your screw terminals. Just a good habit to get into, especially with fixtures, with uh, receptacles. And we're ready to mount the fixture back up to the ceiling and turn the power back on and test our work. So with the wires firmly attached, push the excess back up into the box. Tough to see here. The box mounting screws back in place. With these extra large screws, this box is uh, specially designed for a ceiling fan mount, so they're extra heavy box screws. And they're a hex head, so you can use a flat blade quarter inch standard screwdriver, or better yet, would be a nut driver of the proper size. Just snug those down, not too tight, and you'll end up breaking the fixture. Put in a light bulb, and we'll go turn the breaker on and test our work. Okay, we've restored the breaker, the power to the circuit. Come into the room and check our switch, and it works. 